welcome back. This is Alicia Moulton from The Honey Company doing part two of four essential questions to ask during hive inspections. The first question was, how is my queen? And we answered that in a video before. And now we're going to talk about, um, do the bees have enough room? So providing room for expansion is a critical principle in beekeeping. Um, bees are so awesome, right? We love them. They have this unrivaled and incredible work ethic and they want to build um, comb and put honey and brood into every inch that we give them. Um, they're really great. We need to provide them room for expansion as the colony grows. So we start our colonies in one deep Langstroth box and there are different types of hives but the same like principles and science applies to every hive but I'm going to talk specifically about Langstroths. Um, we, we use 10 frame boxes so we uh, put the bees into one box and then as the bees build their brood chamber out. They start kind of start in the middle and then they work their way out. And once they start working on the outer two frames of the colony or it's 80% full um, of comb and all the things, we add another box on top um, of that. So this is a general rule. There are reasons why you might want to add a box underneath or other things, but we're just talking about like really basic stuff here where we're going to add another box on top. And then we need to prime that box. We want the bees to go up there and they won't if they don't know it's there. So we take a frame from the bottom box and we put it up into the second box. And, um, you know, replacing an empty frame in, down in the bottom box so there's not like empty space. So we keep 10 frames there. And then above that, we it will be like nine kind of empty frames and one frame that the bees were working on. So um, we want to be really careful if we're moving brood, not that it's warm enough outside like in the 90s so that we don't chill that brood by moving it away from its like cluster. So we can, if it's summer, we can do that pretty easily and not have a problem. But if it's like early spring, then we want to be cautious about that. Um, so once they fill up the second box, then we want to add a third box, etc. through the end of the summer. So we just keep adding and adding and as needed. So we typically in Utah in the Wasatch Front, um, we typically get up to four boxes tall on each colony and our record at the Honey Company was last summer and we needed nine deep boxes um, on top of the colony and some years, the sad ones where we have like bad droughts, then we never need to add a second box. We just are like feeding them like crazy and hoping they stay alive, right? So, but the average on a typical year is about four boxes. So, um, sometimes three. Anyway, we can also provide more room in the summer. Like, say we don't have nine boxes, but it's a nine box summer. We can provide more room for the bees by um, extracting some honey and then putting back empty frames for the bees to refill. And we uncap the cells, spin out the honey, and return the frames that have like drawn comb that's still good to use and then the bees fill it up with honey recap it and then we repeat that process through the summer so that's a way to manage that um if you don't have as many boxes so sometimes we can also give them more space by reversing the boxes like putting the box number one on top of box number two and like switch them just reverse the order and then that can help encourage them to uh, use up all the space that they already have and that's already available to them. Um, and then, let's see, if you have sort of an overwintered hive, maybe it's already in um, one or two deep boxes, maybe it's already in two and it did really well. And then, you know, we start with the two boxes and we provide room for expansion on top of that as they go. In the fall, <laughs> In the fall, we compress them down into fewer boxes. Like, so if they're four boxes high or nine boxes high, then we're going to take off all the honey and we're going to sort of shake the bees down until the, they're all in, like, the smallest number of boxes possible. So um, that way they have less sp space to keep warm over the winter. And overwinter colonies usually boom in the spring. Like, they usually go right to work and they build a ton of comb and they just start filling with honey and brood and pollen and all the things. So, 
and we usually try to divide those colonies in the spring because they are just booming and that we kind of use that di divide to maintain model. So we divide our colonies that are booming to replace some that we may have lost over the winter. And um, that way we kind of keep our colony numbers increasing. Okay, so the reason we want to provide room for expansion is that when bees feel crowded, the, um, the workers can't collect as much nectar, the queen doesn't have as much space to lay eggs and because there's not enough cells for her that, to lay them in and that just like just uh, slows down the hive's growth momentum and can reduce their strength going into winter which you know if they're not strong going into the winter they may not survive the winter so we want to avoid that we want them to live and be happy um, at some times of the year being crowded may promote swarming which means like a lot of tall ladders and climbing up trees and trying to rescue swarms or like cutting them out of someone's house or barbecue or air conditioning or something. <laughs> Not fun. We want to avoid swarms by like helping them divide ourselves or, um, you know, just giving them enough room that they don't feel like they need to swarm yet. Swarms do happen a lot, but it's like bees natural like desire to reproduce and so they are going to happen but we want to help them swarm on our terms a little bit if that makes sense sometimes okay uh we also want to avoid too much space so some beekeepers say to us like well if they need a lot of room for expansion why don't i just give them all four boxes right at once um and that's a common question and we don't want to do that because especially where we are in the springtime um it gets cold and it gives a lot more space for bees to have to heat and keep warm during those cold springtime months like today which is like june and it's snowing where i am <laughs> not my favorite day it's freezing anyway um uh we if we they, it also makes it so that they have more space that they need to protect from like mice or hornets or other things that may come into the hive they it's harder for them to like protect their colony from robbing pests that want their honey. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so we want to just give them exactly what they need so that they can maintain the temperature and protect their colony. And then also if, if we give them all four boxes, we know this because we have done that before. <laughs> or sometimes we have a swarm just move into a colony that's empty. And anyway, what they do is they build in a chimney fashion so we have four boxes say then the bees will just build in the very middle like two or three frames in the bottom box and then they'll build above in the two or frames above that because that's where the heat is and then they'll build above in the two or frame three frames above that and they never quite get um fill out all the space that they need to that they have and so then going into the next winter they'll have to heat that and it, it causes some dynamics troubles and dynamics so um so i just wanted to say that if we provide room the correct amount of room for the bees to build they just thrive and they do a great job and they will be really happy bees okay thanks